Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today we in the chapel we have Romans 12 9. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. So yeah. Of course, it's February, so a lot about love and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, so first I'm going to apologize. This is my work shirt, so I've got stains. And when I say that, I say chore. It's a chore. chore, chore. Anyway, so not dressed, but I'm kind of tinkering and puttering, so you'll figure out why. I said in the crochet video this week that I didn't have a whole lot of sewing, okay? And then I figured out that's not really true, that I'm leaving you all out of some steps. So, um, I have these two jackets, okay? Now, these are the two that I told you I had to go back and put that finishing seam on so that they'll lay flat, and I didn't understand why people didn't do that to begin with. Anyway, so, uh, I went looking for some more. I, I need work jackets. This one... I hate the way it fits, but it'll work. And this one, yeah, it doesn't stay buttoned and it doesn't lay flat. And so I decided I just, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and I'm going to find some material. And it's just going to be knit. Um, that 1970s thin um, double knit, whatever it's called. It's poly, whatever. And I'm going to make me some of my own, okay? Because in trying to seam these out, I have noticed a couple of things. And it's funny, but it's not, okay? Because this is ridiculous for one thing. I'm not a great seamstress. I can get by. I make what I need. Uh, I'm... Okay, it doesn't always look perfect. All oh, the dress is backwards, but you know what I'm saying. Um, the only thing I have left to do that is even it out and hem it. So. But, hence the key word, I need to even it out. When I went to putting these, and roommate, roommate and I had a, a talk about this. Um, quality just is not what it used to be. It, we, we don't take pride in things. And by that I mean... Um, this is crazy. So, on this collar, it you can visibly see it's not even. This end is wider than this end. It's not the way I'm holding it. It's not the material. When you fold it in half, it does not line up. Okay? One end is visibly shorter than the other. And I'm not talking just a little bit. Look. Okay. And I have these corner seams held at the same point. Visibly shorter. And then it evens out. This is something I bought and paid for. Okay. Now. I'm over here and I'm making the pattern. Okay. And I do. I have the back cut out. I have the cuffs cut out. And it's hilarious because when I do the cuffs, I have, this is my fold line. And I literally have folded it in half and made sure that it measures the same width away and cut it. Okay. And I cut it like this. I cut it folded in half. So both sides are going to be even. Um, if I make it swoop, that's on me. Okay. But it's going to swoop in the middle, not on the edges. So... I've got the back, and I've got this, and I am making this. Now, people say, yeah, that's a little piece. It's easy to make you. 
Okay, so I draw out my collar. Okay, sorry. And this is a collar that I'm going to use. Then I line up, as you can see, I cut straight along this line and this line. I hold it up, put them on the black line so that I'm at least coming close. And then I fold it in half. Okay, so I know when I cut this collar, okay, it's going to be nice and straight. I even take the time to even out the wavy parts. See here, I had one spot that I was wavy. If you don't trust yourself to do it this way, you can always use a ruler. Um, I'm not saying that you can't. Uh, I'm just saying this is the way my grandma did it. And this is the way I've done it for years. And voila. All right. Now here's the thing. And you're saying, what if it's a little off? And what if that collar band isn't exact? Okay. But here's the thing. It will be symmetrical. Because you just cut these. So if it is a little wider down here and a little wider down here, and this is a little narrow, hello, it's a collar, it then becomes part of the pattern. Okay? Sewing is not as different from crochet as you think. If you make a mistake in your in making something and it's consistent, it becomes part of the pattern. In crochet, if you make a mistake and you're consistently making that mistake, it becomes part of the pattern. Not a big deal. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how this got to market with this collar that's off. And I'm going to say this. The shoulders and the sleeves is what I don't like about it, where it fits. If this is off, more than likely this hem is off, which will make these arms off, which would contribute to why I don't like the way it fits. So, I am in the process of um, cutting my pattern. The only thing I have left to do is the front and the sleeves. I am using both of these as patterns. I like this simple yet uneven neckline. I like the way it lays. Okay, so I am going to do it like that. Um, even though when you lay it, it is not even. <laughs> I I get that they're mass produced, but dang, you know. All right, so I'm taking a lot of the pieces. I took the two pieces that I had and did the back. I am also going to uh, put some pleats in it. This one, they have made far more complicated than it needed to be. They have, number one, this is just something, unless you're going to put a button or a closure up the back of a garment, it should always be done on the fold, not with a seam down the back. Number one, it saves material. Number two, it saves your time and your energy. Um, you can make the same shape by taking this piece and putting it on the fold and cutting them symmetrical and not having to seam, press. And this is double seamed. So there is really no call for this to be done with a seam up the back. I know some places do. I know it's considered style, but if you're not putting a zipper or a, a closure, you know, buttons up the back or something, there's no reason to cut it to sew it back together. So, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I was taught sewing by my grandma and you didn't waste. Just saying. Um, and they may have a reason for doing this. I don't know, but it's, yeah. So, 
there will be no vaccine. Even though I like the way this one fits better, there will be no vaccine. Um, and people say it'll make the neckline different. Not really. You can cut this to shape on the neckline. Okay. I know that it swoops. And so you just cut your piece and it still comes out rounded. So, um, yeah, I am not putting shoulder pads in there. I still have to cut the front and the interface. I've traced everything else out. Um, I have the, um, what do you call these things? Cuffs. I do have to decide how long I'm going to make the arms. So I'm actually thinking that I'm going to make them all the way down with cuffs. So I don't have any. These are both three quarters and we'll just have to see. Sorry, my cord is thumping here. But anyway, so if you want to follow along, I didn't work on anything else other than just mending, uh, which really wasn't mending. It was fixing and altering my clothes so they'll lay right. And then I got the bright idea. I'm just going to make some. So I am actually going to make two at a time. I'm going to go find some cream. double knit uh, material and I don't know what else. A neutral color. I know that part. Um, probably, I know this isn't really neutral, but probably a red. Um, I don't know. Maybe a white. Maybe a cream and a white. That would give me a nice array of jackets. Um, truth be told, if I get those made and they fit better than these, I probably will quit wearing these, so I probably need to get black. But anyway, so I know that my body is not perfect and I know that nobody's body is perfect to fit these style clothes or whatever, but the least they can do is make an even collar. Okay. Unless they're making those in the masses for someone with a neck, you know, short on one side, long on the other. They need to uh, just do a better quality. And, and I'm going to put this out there because if they weren't ashamed of it, you know, sorry about my big rear. This is a weaver made in New York. I'm not going to show you the size, but this is a weaver. It's not high end, but it's not low end either. So, yeah. It's, it is what it is, but if you're going to put it out there and the neck's going to be like, that's visibly off a lot. And I guess it doesn't, I guess other people don't notice it, but I do. And I'm the one that has to wear it. Who knows? But anyway, all right. That's all I'm going to put in the sewing. That is what I'm working on. I'm getting my patterns together. Hopefully this weekend I will be sewing on them. There is a car show that I want to go to, and you might see a little bit of that. Um, if I end up going, I don't know. It depends on the weather. But, yeah, I'm probably going to go just because it's in the, indoors. And you should see the advertisements. They have some amazing cars. Anyway, so uh, I might go to the car show, but I am going to stop by and do some uh shopping at Hobby Lobby on Saturday and get some double knit that I feel will make decent jackets. It's not going to be the heavy double knit like we all remember. I want to get something light, uh, not too stretchy, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right. I'm off of here. Y'all have a great weekend and thanks for watching.